Hi, I'm Chip Ward with the Mississippi Department of Wildlife, Fisheries, and Parks, and today I'm looking at alligator nest on the Pearl River with our alligator program coordinator, Ricky Flint. Neat thing about here on the Pearl River and Ross Point Reservoir, there's so much area that's inaccessible by your typical outboard boat that these alligators are afforded almost uh, wilderness type conditions in that they hardly ever see humans. So the alligator builds this nest usually within 10 to 20 feet of the water on dry ground just like this and most of the nests in central Mississippi are initiated around the first week of July. And what they do is they begin to scratch up all this material, uh, which consists of dead vegetation, live vegetation, soil, all into a pile right there, and basically builds a compost pile. And then she'll deposit her eggs inside the nest, on average about 35 to 40 eggs. But she deposits those eggs, covers them back up, and this pile will remain here to incubate for 60 to 65 days. What happens is all that dead and live vegeta vegetation begins to decompose and decomp decomposition produces heat and that is the heat that actually uh, incubates the eggs. So she doesn't lay on the nest like a, a bird does because alligators are cold blooded, they can't produce heat. After the eggs have matured, the hatchlings begin to vocalize inside the nest making a, a kind of a barking sound and she hears that vocalization and she will then come to the nest uh, and begin to excavate the material from the top of the nest so that the hatchlings can be recovered and she brings them to the water uh, one by one, sometimes more than one at a time. 